Welcome to a quick video on how to use Magnet Outrider for triaging mobile devices. My name is Chris Vance, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of this. To start off, we have to supply a case number. In our case, we've supplied one of 1234. We want to make sure that our Android and iOS devices are being seen by the software. And if you need to have any setup help on getting those devices connected to your Windows machine, you can just navigate to the left here to the Android device setup to follow these steps to turn on USB debugging, or the iOS device setup to go through and create a trust pairing certificate with the PC. It is because of these reasons that we recommend running Magnet Outrider from your own system when doing mobile device triage and not a suspect system. The only other option that we need to take before proceeding further is to start off by editing our template. When clicking Edit Template, you can see that we now support operating systems including Android, Windows, Mac OS, and iOS. Because of this, we want to go in and check some of our mobile options. So I'm going to select Android. In selecting Android, you'll still see a lot of the same options available. But one specific option is now available towards the bottom. Magnet Outrider can triage mobile devices to find data only relating to keyword searches, or to go ahead and pull all of the mobile data for our case. Now when we say all, what we mean is that we're extracting a very specific set of triaged artifacts. In our case, you can see that I have include user data without a keyword match checked, but if I just wanted to only scan against my keyword, then I would just leave this unchecked. With that checked, I'm going to press Save Template. The only other step that I have to use to proceed further is to check this little lock icon beside of our iPhones. Now we can plug in as many iOS or Android devices as we want at any given time, depending upon the amount of ports on our PC. Selecting the, the lock icon next to our Apple device allows me to set a backup encryption passcode. By doing this, Outrider can triage both call logs and Safari browsing history from our iOS devices. With a quick password set, we'll press OK. Before I press Start Scan, I do want to mention that the Android side of this is going to be very hands-off. On the iOS side, however, you will need to make sure that you are entering the device handset lock code several times throughout the process to make sure that the process can continue. We'll start by pressing our Start Scan button now. Once the data process starts, it's actually very quick on Android devices. You can see that within just a few seconds, we're already acquiring thousands of Android SMS MMS messages. This data is instantly reviewable as soon as it is hitting Outrider, so you don't have to wait for Outrider to finish triaging the device before you can start reviewing the information. When a category contains specific information that we deem as a critical hit, we'll pop up a red exclamation point beside of it. Here you can see critical hits in our third-party applications. This could be for a reason such as Snapchat or Signal was detected, something that we know would require additional processing. Our SMS MMS messages can also be reviewed and searched through contacts, device info, recent applications, account data, and even user info. Going back to my scan summary, you can see that not only have we finished triaging our Android device, we're now processing the MMS from that device. This device has over 1,200 MMS messages that it's currently downloading very quickly, and then we'll begin running through that with our standard CRC library hashes or any custom hash libraries that we've uploaded on our own. Once this process is complete, our iOS device will start processing. Now devices are processed serially, so you can process multiple devices, but they will run one at a time. However, that nice thing is, is that as the data is feeding in, you can start reviewing it instantly, not having to wait for one thing to finish for reviewing that information. With our Android device now finished, our iOS device will now begin. Now this process will take a few minutes longer normally than Android devices, somewhere typically between 5 and 15 minutes to complete fully. The amount of information that's returned is going to depend on how much data is on the device, and this will also affect the time. Since we're grabbing all of the information that we have available to us, we will see a little bit more of that data being returned. However, if we want to do additional processing later on, we can actually bring that data over into Axiom and process it there as well. First thing that happens when we are processing an iOS device for triage 
so that we'll only acquire a specific set of artifacts back to you so that you can start to review those while we take the more detailed process that would then require additional data uh, grabbing as well as encrypting or decrypting the backups. Several times throughout this process, I'm going to have to enter the passcode on the iOS device in order to make sure that it can proceed further. I'll let this process run, and I'll return when it's done so that I can show you guys exactly how long that took. You can see now that Outrider has returned all of our accounts, contact information, as well as our SMS MMS message data. Entering the passcode on the device again will then allow it to proceed to the next step so that it can acquire the call logs as well as the Safari history. I'll let this process continue to run. Again, the nice thing about this is while this process may take a little longer, you can go ahead and review the data that's been returned while we wait for that. So I could click on the iOS SMS MMS and view this information here. Now we also have what we call table view or grid view. So we can turn this on for specific artifacts. Table view is going to be more for looking at this data if you're looking for the text data. However, since we know that this artifact would contain MMS uh, files that may have been downloaded, we may want to load this in grid view so that we can quickly see the thumbnails that are returned. The MMS data is always returned last, so we try to give you the text data to review, and then the picture data will come at the end for you to review that information. Going back to my scan summary, you can see that the process is continuing to run, and at the same time, we are still processing our files using our CRC library. We'll let this continue to run, and I'll return as soon as it's done to give you guys a final walkthrough of this information. Returning here, we can see that our data is now done processing, and within about 5 minutes and 30 seconds, we have fully triaged an Android and an iOS device. At this point, we're ready to process our data uh, in another tool, or just go ahead and review it here within Magnet Outrider, or just in an HTML report. If you'd like to view this data outside of Magnet Outrider, using the Open Report button, load in a set of reports for you. Each device is going to be separated into a separate HTML document. These folders can also be loaded into Axiom and processed for additional information, depending upon what was requested and what was pulled back. Thank you so much for watching this quick video on how to use Magnet Outrider for mobile device triage, and you can grab yourself a copy of this and try it out yourself, now alongside Axiom 7.10. Thanks again.